Welcome back to American Textbook Reading. I'm Brian Stewart. Today we're going to start the lesson of living things in, and non-living things in the first part or first lesson in Science Book 2. So now, are you ready? Let's get started in the lesson. This is our first vocabulary word. Do you know what word is it? Do you know what word is our first vocabulary word? Do you know what is it? You don't know, right? Our first vocabulary word is alive. Alive. Alive means, alive means to be continue living. You can grow. Looks like I'm alive. And you're alive too. Next, we have the word grow. Grow. Grow means grow means to um, grow means to be taller or bigger over a period of time. Now, you know, we grow, right? But some, some, some animals, some things do not grow. They're called non-living things. Now, next we have change. Change. Do you know what is change? Change means to become different. Like when I am a baby, I used to crawl. But now I'm a grown up. And I can run, walk, talk, and see, and even smell or hear. That's called bye bye change. Now, what is the next one? Do you know? It is reproduce. Reproduce. Do you know what does reproduce means? Difficult word, right? Read. Read. Reproduce. Reproduce. This is how you say it. Reproduce. But the right spelling is reproduce. But this is how you pronounce it. Reproduce. Reproduce means that to make the same kind of living thing that you are. Just like when I was a child, when I was in my mom's stomach, and then, and then I came out of it. And she makes a living thing. My mom is a person, a person, and then she makes me is also a person. That's called reproduce. Reproduce. So now let's begin with the last one. Do you know what is the last one? Die. 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 Here looks like this bird is dead. Dead is another word for die. Right? Dead is another word for die. Here can you see this dead bird? Can you see this? Dead is another word for die. Die means to no longer be alive. 
So now, let's take a short break and come back and we'll do the speaking grumpy engine. Don't go away. Now, did you enjoy the break? Did you have a cup of milk? Did you go to the toilet? Did you pee? Did you poop? <laughs> so now, so now let's begin. Let's begin with the reading comprehension. We'll put my marker aside and we'll do the reading comprehension. In the world, there are living things and non-living things. For example, a living thing is a chick. Right? A chick is a living thing. A chick grows. A chick grows and it needs a space to live in. Living things can reproduce. The chicken can have an egg. The egg can hatch into a chick. Then someday the chicken will die. Some living things do not. Some things do not reproduce because they are not they are not alive. Do you know what what is that called? It is non-living thing. A non-living thing is just like a rock. A rock cannot breathe air, cannot eat, cannot drink. If you give a rock food or water, that will be crazy, right? So, a rock doesn't move by itself, and it doesn't change. If it changes, it's because of you. If it's a tiny rock, you step on it, and then it breaks. That's how you change the rock. But it, the rock doesn't change by itself. It doesn't move by itself, or it doesn't make smaller rocks if we kick it or smash it then we make smaller rocks. So now, if you like my video, make sure to like and subscribe me more at um, studying more about uh, World Calm Edu with Brian Stork. You just write the name for me and you write the lesson. If it doesn't have, means that I did it I did it just like um, made that video before. So now, see ya.